So welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about how I plan on slaying 2018. Now, I did make a video about my resolutions and all that last year. I never posted it. Um, I'm probably gonna try to find it on my computer and rewatch it and see like what did I say. Um, but that's the reason why I kind of want to do these videos so that I can look back next year and say, I did this or I didn't do that. I really need to try harder this year to get these things accomplished. Um, I do have a few things in front of me that I want to talk about. Um, so if you're interested in hearing about my goals for 2018, they're not resolutions, but they're goals, um, just keep on watching. All right, so um, I have a few different things on my list that I want to talk to you guys about. So the first thing is failing resolutions. Now this, I wanted this to be the first thing I talk about because I make these videos, um, well I made this video last year and I feel like, I haven't watched it yet, but I feel like I failed a lot of them. Not that I, I failed in life, but I just, I set up all these goals for myself and you know at the beginning of the year everyone's like all jazzed up and they're ready and then February 1st comes and everybody like um what resolution um so I don't want to do that this year I have so much I'm ready I feel like last year year before year before that I don't feel like I was ready for um my growth I guess I could say um I was try I've been trying to grow at my job, that's not really working out, and I feel like I'm not growing there because I'm not supposed to grow there. I feel like I'm supposed to grow doing this, this is something I've been passionate about for years. I've been watching other people grow their YouTube channels and grow mentally and physically even some, um, but I felt like I've been stagnant, and I think I've been stagnant because I'm not supposed to be working for someone else. I'm supposed to be working for myself. I'm supposed to have my own businesses, plural, biz, biz, ugh, I can't talk, businesses, and I feel like I've been stagnant because I'm not going with my true potential. Um, and I'm trying to work around that this year by doing a few different things. Um, so one of the main thing is my YouTube channel. So I have um, really took an initiative this year to do YouTube. Um, I started last, the end of last year, like December, started making a few videos. Um, and I think the main thing with me is that other stuff gets in the way. Um, I have a son, I have a boyfriend, I have family, I have a job, and I'm like, I don't have time, I don't have time, I'm really tired, I have an autoimmune disease, so that has me like really fatigued sometimes, but I feel like if something that you love, you should make time for, so I'm trying to make time for this, um, and the main thing with this is it's a lot more work than what people, I want to make good videos, I don't watch people videos who have bad quality, um, or anything like that so I want to make sure I have good lighting that I um, even though I may not have a great camera right now I'm using what I have to the best of my ability um, so I've been watching a lot of tech videos I write down my goals I have two different notebooks right now one that's just YouTube one is like everything else um, and any idea for YouTube that just jot it down in my other book and then I move it over to my YouTube book and have everything nice and neat and organized so that when I'm ready to um, do a video, I have my topics down, I have what I want to say, what the title's going to be, all that jazz. Um, so, kind of leading into that, um, with the letting the small things stop me, it goes into, like, the negativity. So, unfortunately, I, I know in my heart I have a more of a negative outlook. I feel like that's why I haven't been growing, um, the way that I should be because I tend to dwell on things like I, I tend to dwell on how um, and by that I mean like how is this gonna get paid how am I gonna do this how how was this YouTube thing gonna work like I don't have a good computer I, I don't have a good computer but I don't have a good camera I don't have this I don't have that but I do have an iPhone 7 great quality camera on there for me to start with um, I do have a really good computer it's less than two years old um, I do have editing software. I do have this. I, I do have 
I do have the motivation to even want to do it in the first place. I do have knowledge that people tell me all the time, they ask me questions about makeup, about skincare and all that. And there's people who's always saying, you should make a video on this. You should make a video on that. But until I sit down to make the video, it's all just words. So um, that's another thing. I don't want to let the small things stop me. Am I doing that? I am trying to be more mindful. So I have went on my phone and I have downloaded a few different apps. I'm trying to find the one that I really like with like meditation, um, mindfulness, um, positivity. I want to start listening to some more audiobooks. Um, I've been watching a lot of like Slay 2018. That's kind of why I want to name it this video that um, like girl boss, those type of um, YouTube videos. I've been really into watching those and listening to those and listening to what they have done to change their mindset. Um, when I feel like I catch myself being negative, I've been trying to reel it back in. Um, and the main thing that I do is I do go on my phone and I've been trying to open up that app um, right now. I think it's, I don't remember what it's called, but I'll leave it down below. I actually did it this morning. Because um, the main thing with me, I know I'm like ranting and all over the place sorry guys but I I kind of wake up in a bad mood and I don't want to be that person I have a two-year-old son who's very impressionable so I want to be happy I want to be excited about life and excited about the day um, and I think part of that is not doing the thing that I love all day um, although I do do makeup I do do makeup but I do makeup all day I feel like I'm not I feel like I'm not, I'm still not doing what I love to do. Um, it's not fulfilling something in me. Um, I do have a business background, so I feel like opening up my own businesses, um, which I have started. I'm actually going to order my business cards today. I am going to, um, and that's another thing, is I want to say things into existence. Say, now I'm going, I will, um, in the future, order them. So that's what I've done before. I've been saying this for years that I've, gonna start doing like brows or lashes or something on my own um be a freelance makeup artist but i never really put it into action this year that's not happening i am going to put it into action i am going to use the money that i get from brows or doing whatever on the side and i'm going to use that only for my business i'm going to put it into youtube or put it into back into my business so those are the things that I really want to do another one is like positive affirmations so in my I've turned my living room because we don't use it into like my own little office business space and um, there's a few of the artwork that I put up right behind you guys that I love like one over here it says the best is yet to come I read that every day every time I sit down and do my makeup I see that um, and I read it and this one says good things comes to those who hustle and I really like that one because um, Sometimes we just feel like things should just come to us like it. Why is this happening? Like it should I should be here I should be there already. It don't work that way. So that reminds me that It'll come but I have to work for it and that's what I feel like I'm doing now um, And the other main one that says I'm gold digger when you read it, it's still in your head. You still say gold digger, but it says gold in big letters, digger. And I, that's what I want. I, don't, I want to reach for my goals. I want to make sure that I read that and I know I have to accomplish something today, even if it's something small. Because if you accomplish something small 365 days of the year, you've, been, you've accomplished a lot. Um, and the last one, um, there's a few other ones that don't really have any like motivational things behind them but the last one says a little nervous breakdown can do a girl wonders wait I can't y'all I'm blind where are my glasses let me let me make sure I'm telling y'all the right thing it says a little nervous breakdown can work wonders on a girl so that's what it says and um that goes into my next topic which is mental health I don't I don't have any like look I feel like legitimate mental health issues I just have normal mom issues I'm tired I have so much on my plate and sometimes I get really overwhelmed and I 
printed that one out because like it's okay if I get overwhelmed and I like lose control for a moment but I have to make sure that I bring it back in sometimes crying it will help it releasing all that getting all that frustration out because a lot of times what I like to do is hold it all in and then blow up and that's just that's not a good thing so um when something like that happens I'll have these apps that I have on my phone now and it's not sponsored hashtag not sponsored um that I will open up and I will do one for like um I just did one this morning that was called One Minute to Sanity. So it just like helps you breathe in, breathe out, like be mindful of yourself, focus just on your breathing and let everything else just fall by the wayside just for 60 seconds. And it actually did help. I was getting a little frustrated with some people and it helped me bring it all back together. So I feel like if I do that more often, be consistent with it, maybe, um, not maybe this year will be better and I won't this year will be better and I will not um, let my emotions get the best of me um, sorry y'all so the last thing I have on here is losing weight I don't want to start a diet. Nope, I fail every single time. Every single time I start a diet, I fail. And I refuse to continue to fail. So this year, I'm taking it very, very slow. I, so far I've cut out soda. Um, this is probably like my 10th, 11th, 12th day, I think. I'm almost two weeks with no soda. Um, I did. Nope, I almost took a sip of my boyfriend's, he was trying to do Mountain Dew ice, whatever, and I almost took a sip of it because he wanted me to taste it, but I didn't. Um, after that, I'm going to work on like breads, and carbs, and then after that, um, I pretty much cut down on the sweets as far as like baked sweets. Um, I still eat like my Hershey with almonds. That's like one of my favorite snacks. Um, I love chocolate, but I'm trying not to eat anything baked. So that goes back into the bread. Um, I'm just doing what works for me right now. And then once I work on that, and I feel less bloated now because I haven't been drinking soda. Um, I just drink tea, coffee, and water. Um, and I'm trying to up my water intake. I don't drink enough water. I feel like I don't really drink enough fluids either. I pretty much only drink when I'm eating and that's not healthy. Um, so I'm trying to do better with that. Um, with losing weight, the last thing that I feel like I already said that, but we we'll to say last thing for sure this time is meal planning. That has been, I've tried it before and I hated it, but I figured out why I hated it the last time is because I was meal planning stuff that I didn't want to eat for five days in a row. Ugh. So I got some boxes. Let me go grab them. I'll be like, oh, I ordered these off Amazon. They were like 15 for like 12 bucks or so. And they have been a godsend. So let's grab one right quick. So what I do is it has these three little compartments. So I like to put my vegetable here. Um, I'll usually do green beans broccoli, asparagus, anything like that, greens, in here. And then in one of these will be protein. So typically for me, it's either turkey or chicken. And then in here, I do like rice, potatoes. Um, that's pretty much it. I'll just do it in like different variations. Um, um, and I'm trying to think. So right now, this week, what I did was I did green beans over here, and then I did a turkey burger that I seared on the stove, and then I baked in the oven, and then I made some rice, and I put a little tiny bit of butter and salt on it, and that's what I've done for five days. So that is what I've been doing. I don't know if I've lost any weight, honestly. I'm not trying to look at the scale like I did before because I get kind of focused um I have a couple of friends that want me to go to like cycle bar and other like spin classes yoga classes I'm trying to work out my schedule so I can do things like that but 
Um, that's next on the list is to actually get back in the gym because I actually do like working out. It's just the getting there part is a little extra for me. So uh, I hope that you guys like this video. Um, maybe in another like six months I can see re reread, <laughs> rewatch this video, see what um, things I've accomplished, what I haven't accomplished. Maybe do like a. Um, check in um make sure we're all back on track um because there's no failing in 2018 failure is not an option this year so um i like i said before i hope you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you want me to continue a series like this um let me know down below what other videos you like to watch um if you want like more in depth on anything that i've talked about um please subscribe to my channel and Thank you for watching. Love you. Bye.